Thanks very much, uh, Gabrielle, and uh, really, really appreciate your uh, efforts and, uh, and, and great work you did on moderating today. Um, yes, thanks everybody. Uh, thanks, Ms. Sherry. Great panel discussion. I think uh, we, we have some action points to work on together, uh, and great that this is working out. Um, going back to the, uh, the working ground, um, what we're talking about is uh, this protein discussion, which we shouldn't call protein anymore. That's something I learned. Um, we had a great uh, 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 work done by young people internationally, nationally here in the Netherlands, uh, on what can we do specifically as an alternative. And um, I would like to give the floor to some people who are working on this, on the process, and also on the, on the exact results. Um, we uh, probably have uh, somebody joining uh, as the international winner uh, here, so you might uh, she might drop in. But um, let me check if I can do this here behind my laptop. Um, maybe I can uh, invite Miriam to uh, join me here. Yes. Corona Thank proof, you. who tested. <laughs> yeah, your hair might be a little bit different, but uh, yes, I look very different. <laughs> um, great, uh, just to, to share with you all is that uh, that Miriam is of Wageningen Youth Institute. She's going to tell all of it about uh, what it's uh, relevant for you, but it's a great uh, partner in, in what we do with, uh, at the uh, Youth World Food Day because we believe that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, that Youth World Food Day is, is an excellent way to get young people involved into food security challenges, but the food security is so huge that we try to narrow it down on a specific challenge. So, Miriam, can you explain what you have done and maybe also why yeah. Marketing Youth Institute organizes challenges? Yeah, we, we already saw some high school students behind us <laughs> <laughs> that are uh, yeah, running away now. But uh, yeah, my name is Miriam Troost. I am the coordinator of the Wageningen Youth Institute which is an initiative of the Wageningen University in Research together with the World Food Prize Foundation. Uh, the World Food Prize Foundation has many youth programs and um, yeah, we are one of them. And every year we are organizing together with Youth World Food Day, a special challenge uh, concerning food security. And this year we chose uh, the ideal burger, which means that we were working with a lot of high school students in the Netherlands, but also in Ghana, also in Honduras, to make their perfect plant-based burger. Uh, of course, we are a university, so it had to be scientific. So we gave them some special ingredients that they could use to make, uh, to make like plant-based uh, burger, but with meat structure. So the bite, the texture would be like real meat. Uh, that was the extra touch that we did from, uh, from the university. But after that, uh, the students, they had to pick their own ingredients, make their own recipe. And moreover, we wanted also them to learn how to promote that within their own country, within their own community. So we also gave them lectures from Wageningen University students on strategic communication. And that led to um, 55 uh, high school students worldwide uh, joining us. And also we had like uh, very nice commercials out of it. And um, on the 4th of October during World Food, Food Forum, we were one of the side events where we had the finals of the event. And um, there we picked, yeah, it was really difficult because it was really, <laughs> there were some great ideas, but we picked uh, two groups from the Netherlands and uh, that we invited today at World Food Center in Ada to bake their own burger and present it to a lot of um, yeah, people from municipalities in the Netherlands that were signing actually a city deal on food, a food transition. And, um, and we picked also a winner from Honduras. And I really hope that Natalie is also here to join us. But um, yeah, we can, if you are here, please uh, step up or say, yeah, put on your video or I don't know, Xander is looking for you right now. If not, we are lucky to have our Dutch participants here that have been baking the whole day. Everybody liked their, uh, their burger a lot, so that's good. And uh, with, with this project, we not only want to do a fun activity, but also something that will stick to their mind. It will plant a seed like, okay, maybe we should eat less meat, and, but how are we going to do that? And how are you going to communicate that through a, a commercial, for instance? So yeah, well, that's more or less, um, yeah, the introduction, I think. Yeah, super. And, and, and uh, 
well, uh, while you were busy cooking and, and, and with the other activities, there was a very interesting discussion going on on uh, alternatives for meat. So also that's geographically uh, less or more relevant, uh, but so everybody knows that, that I think there's over 70 companies in the Netherlands making alternatives for meat at this moment. Yep. So it, this is something which is a trend and I think it can also be necessary. But um, this is where that principle came from. Uh, Natalie, if you are uh, um, in the group, please turn your camera on. But in the meanwhile, uh, we are going to get this group who won, uh, one of the groups who won uh, over here. We're going to see if we're going to squeeze them in the screen. Come over. And um, if you look a little bit closer, then you see yourself. Oh, there we go. Uh, great to have you here. And um, what I would like to start with is, uh, can you introduce yourself and maybe... Uh, what um, what made it uh, that you woke up that you said I'm gonna join in this competition and make this recipe? So who are yes. you? Well, we are Miriam and Anke, and we're from uh, Gymnasium Apeldoorn. And for a school project, we um, we got the opportunity to uh, make and design uh, meat substitutes, and therefore we we also found the um, the ideal burger challenge online, and we were like, well. That fits perfectly in, in our school project. So we, we uh, therefore, we uh, got the, uh, the stuff that we needed from mm -hmm. uh, Wageningen and we made our uh, carrot cake burger. Cool. And um, why did you make carrot cake? Um, now, actually, uh, Miriam uh, um, came with this idea and uh, we wanted something uh, special, uh, mm -hmm. something that uh, no one knows already and something that's not in the supermarket already. Uh, so we started brainstorming and then we came with uh, apple pie and then uh, carrot cake. So that's how uh, it became a carrot cake burger. Excellent. And, and uh, there were all these uh, uh, ministers, local councillors, uh, uh, all these uh, wise people because they <laughs> some of them have gray hair I always find them wise but uh, looking to talk to you and but especially have your burger did you get any response how they liked it yeah well um, some of them told us they really liked it so yeah we didn't hear from everyone of course but cool yeah they liked it and um, I'm not sure if you chose already in which direction you're going to go when you grow up which study or profession or maybe you don't know but it's food and and this something that you might take up in, in after you graduate on the gymnasium um now uh, i think it's important to uh, keep thinking about food but i'm going to do something else i'm going uh, to study something like physics but maybe in the future i will do something with food as well because it's it's important and interesting Cool. And you? Uh, well, for me, I would like to study nutrition and health uh, cool. at Wageningen next year. So that's basically uh, all about food. <laughs> well, one thing you can uh, uh, take there uh, at that moment, and I think there will be a whole gallery, I hope, of winners. But uh, the physical awards, unfortunately, it's not ready yet. We don't have it here, but you're going to get it. And definitely you should take that uh, with your uh, intake conversation at Wageningen <laughs> University. They must have you there. Um, is there an idea of what you would love to uh, that that happens with the burger, or do you think, well, uh, that's over, or maybe we can make sure that we get it in your school canteen, or do we should uh, talk to McDonald's to say this is the one you uh, need to serve? Well, it just started as like a simple idea, and just like, well, let's see what happens, and now it became like quite a big thing. So we're very happy about that, and after today, I think we definitely have to keep it up and. Like maybe try find uh, get it in our school canteen, for example. Or would be nice if it in the end could uh, get into the supermarkets. Or just cool. Anything. Yeah. Well, um, uh, we just heard today also that young people are also quite busy, uh, but uh, we definitely want. That's one of part of the award. It's not just a physical award, but we try to help you with the partners we have with Miriam with. Uh, local council we had great uh, uh, people from national governments uh, there and see how we can work that uh, through so um, this is a really Dutch Institute the Voeding Centrum which is a national uh, institute on, uh, on healthy food and, uh, and, and healthy minds and bodies 
Uh, we're going to see if we can get maybe with them uh, the burgers served in your canteen or maybe in every canteen at the secondary schools. Um, so expect a call from one of us or uh, together with Miriam uh, to work on that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much because uh, I loved it that uh, everybody was eating your burger. And uh, um, I think even uh, one of the jury members also very keen on, on to see how we can bring it forward. So I think there's a great team uh, acknowledging your uh, efforts and uh, congratulations. And because we have quite of onions, I would like to have a small applause for these great winners. <laughs> Thank you, thank you very much. And um, yeah, we'll hope to see them in the store soon. Yes, yes. So do thank you, thank you. Thank you. And um, one of the things we've planned for right now is the Kahoot quiz. Only uh, here in the Netherlands also, um, we, uh, oh, sorry, 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 the other winner. My apologies. This is uh, because this is a unique uh, thing this uh, this year. We have more winners. <laughs> sorry, sorry. We already saw you. Come here and join me. Um, and th this is, I think, uh, the best promotion of what we do is that we don't we can't decide uh, on one winner. We have two winners. Uh, can you introduce yourself uh, and, and what kind of work did you have? Uh, well, I'm Senna. I'm 18. Uh, I love cooking and I love science. Uh, and so I made the Mr. Lupini burger for this challenge, uh, which is a plant-based burger yeah. um, made of uh, lupin and um, other uh, vegan uh, uh, products. Uh, <laughs> yeah. And what? what um, how do you uh, decide? I, I love cooking, but I'm uh, too impatient. But how do you come up with such a recipe or did you try 10 recipes and came to this one? Uh, well, I, I had to try a lot of um, recipes first. Um, so I first did the practicum, which I got from uh, the university. Um, and then I, um, I, I uh, looked at the way uh, the fibers looked and felt and tasted and the way they reacted to heat. And uh, I changed the ingredients, and uh, I kept changing little bits, mm -hmm. to make it better. And eventually, I added the spices and made a burger. Cool. Hey, and uh, did some of your family or other friends maybe were a test uh, panel for you? Or uh... yeah, so I asked uh, a lot of uh, friends and my mom and um, family members to try it, and uh, they all thought it was good. Cool. And um, uh, you say you were very into the, this topic and also into uh, technology innovation, I would you say? Uh, is it something you want to continue after you graduate at the uh, school you're in now? Oh, yeah, for sure. Um, cool. I think I went to um, study chemistry or food technology mm -hmm. um, and learned something about food and I might become a cook later. That sounds awesome. This is something we would like to uh, have as a harvest for today. And um, which is great that I uh, nearly forgot you, uh, not for you, but that uh, you're getting an award as well. Um, you're getting the same offer to see if we can help you uh, create a, a next step with the burger in your canteen or maybe get them at the supermarket. But what I forgot to tell the ladies as well, and I don't know if Miriam already told, but uh, you are also getting a, a, a tour at the Vegetarian Butcher um for us dutchies it's quite a, a known uh um, um company in the meanwhile um which is also working together with unilever which brings a huge uh, scaling up on this development so uh we're gonna see if we can get a data range that you're gonna go to the facilities and hopefully we have natalie online in a, in a tour with the vegetarian butcher at unilever mm -hmm. that's so cool Thank cool you. no problem and for you also a big hand of course very much. Thanks to my assistant, I didn't forget this. <laughs> Sorry. Um, and let's see. I just gonna do a last check if we have uh, Natalie maybe on the call. No, I think this is fearless. Um, and and by this, I would uh, like to close this part and um, uh, just checking internally. We're not doing the cahoots. We have. Uh, we're gonna do something else. Um, if I look at the time, and I'm going to look at my colleagues, uh, Lisanna, uh, would you be able to improvise a little and start a little bit earlier? Okay. 
um, because we, uh, I also saw, saw some great guests here in the, in the room. Just for the people at home, uh, I'm gonna show you that. Yeah, we're, we're not alone here. <laughs> so we have all this audience standing here. <laughs> it's nearly a really TV, TV studio. 